It was seven sets of panties, Giorgio? How many was that out there? And some needles? Uh, two caps for uh, hypodermic ah, needles. You bet. You bet. Uh, didn't find any needles themselves. Oh, okay. Good. Just sure. the residue sure. of a needle. Yeah. And uh, I'm hoping that the underwear in question was the individual's themselves. You guys, yeah. who among us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hasn't had that night. Where you just you know shoot I mean? up all night, <laughs> you have sex with a dirty hobo, yeah. and then you leave all your fucking clothes behind and say, you know what? I'm going to walk home nude. I don't need these clothes anymore. Home? Clothes are for simple people. Are you got home? Wait, home? Confused? Well, home to your cardboard <laughs> box. Look, um, if you, you can make a home out of anything these days, you know? It's true. Are you? I'm a little bit jealous of that night, though. I know. Are you? Uh, I can smell it. it. Stinks. I can smell what that sex smells like. Is that weird? <laughs> um, it's not not weird. But can you taste the jewel after that sex? Uh, yeah. No, they're going real sticks. Do they don't have a fucking jewel. They don't have a place to charge it. Did we fucking talk about this on this show, or was it like a Patreon episode where the guy? videotaped two people, uh, homeless people fucking, a homeless sex tape? Oh, no. Oh, boy. I, I feel like, like I watched that, that with you. It was a blowjob, right? Uh, it, it ended up being that, yeah, because and the Allie. guy couldn't get hard. Who was that that we had on? It was a fucking strange show. I think me and you just watched that together. No, 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 no. <laughs> we did not. Uh, we had a guest Alone. on. We had a guest on who, and I think maybe he wrote it in or he came on the background. He didn't want to be shown, obviously. Right. But, uh, yeah, he was like, yeah, I used to shoot porn and, you know, some backwoods shit. You guys always talk about bum sex um, or bum fucks uh -huh. on the show all the time. I was like, yeah, yeah. And he goes, man, we did that one time. And then he went into the story. And so they were in uh, somewhere out in Venice, like some shitty motel. And they, they got two homeless people to fuck on, on camera. And he thought it was going to be hilarious in this whole fucking thing, it's right? Not. It wasn't, and it's then not. they couldn't get the people out of the room. No, it's and not funny. It's sad. They were nodding it's out. Gross. It was awful. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't the fun, flirty, homeless sex they thought they were going to get. Mm. What did they think? That yeah. like a can of beans was going to fall out of her bra or something? Like it's two people addicted to heroin. Yeah, but you... you <laughs> so here was the thought you process thought they were behind really going to turn it on? You thought, yes, they were going to go for it because they were desperate. Like out of de like desperate Ugh. sex that you were like, all right, great. We have to fuck like our lives depend on it because they do right now. And he thought that was going to be the magic, right? That was going to be the, the thing to do it. And then it, it was If wasn't. they had that kind of drive mentally, mm -hmm. I don't think the homelessness. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you assume yeah, that yeah. there's some kind of ambition. You know I, what I mean? I look, I look for the best. I'm a, I'm a glass half full type of guy. I look for the best in people. You're and fucking <laughs> kidding me right now. No, people are the worst. And you at least get to see it now. You yesterday were so uh, hateful towards me and everyone else around you because of who you had to deal with on the phone every I'm, step I'm, of the way. I'm you listening. finally crossed over into my world. And I, I want, I'm going to go out on a limb and say everyone you talked to probably fucked you over yesterday. Every single person. Yes. Yeah. And as a woman, that's my life constantly. Mm -hmm. But it was on, it was just back to back people taking advantage and, you know what I mean, fucking with you. Is this house stuff? Day. It's house stuff. It's house stuff. So it's house stuff. I have just, to turn on the bitch thing. I can't turn the bitch thing off when you get home. Don't want to, but right, right. you know, it's it, you constantly have to be like, okay, who's going to overpower me either mentally or physically <laughs> every single day? And when you're dealing with house stuff, it's just on another level. Some neighbors came over at the at the new place to greet us, and uh, and your response was, really now? They I, was and I was in like, pajamas. I, I, I had no bra. I was about to them. fucking breastfeed my baby. Can't stop them. Like, they were at the front door. What was I going to do? Hey, my wife says no. So as far as meeting new neighbors and you friends. You could have just met no. them. I, I couldn't. They were at the front door, Jesse. The door was open. What was you I going to do? Have they to come, saw you in the background. You didn't have to come get me. Yeah. They saw you back there. They were like, oh, is that your wife? And what was I supposed to say? No, nope, mistress. Welcome to the neighborhood. Huh? She has a three-week-old baby. She is about to breastfeed 
but but you didn't pop the tit out yet. You could have just popped on out and said, "Hey." Uh, but what I liked is you had to go through all of it, like all the things that I have to go through on a day to day basis, and that's nice. Now you're on my side. You should be a little in the future, okay? When I'm on the on the phone in the parking lot or in the driveway or whatever, it's usually yelling at someone that I I have to deal with on a day to day basis, and it sucks. It sucks. The dream would just be for someone else to do all of the things, give them the legal hierarchy to do that, and then fucking leave and just do make shows, make just do the fun stuff all day long. But we don't get to do that, you know. Mm-hmm. We don't get to do that. Mm-hmm. Describe this fun stuff. Yeah. I enjoy doing these shows every single day. I think it's a blast. Uh, I did somebody else's podcast last week as a guest, and uh, I was telling them this. They were like, how do you do this many shows a week and still uh, enjoy it? And I said, each conversation, I'm able to take away at least one nugget of truth or fun or information that is great that I can use in my life, and, uh, and it's, always, it's always a blast. Oh, I thought you just loved coming in every day to the wonderful family and team that you've built here over the years. No, you yes. guys are a fucking mystery. Like, look at, go put the camera back on yourselves, okay? All right. We're going to start. I we're going to go right to left. Dan I is, do. yeah, Delco is yawning right now because he's lost all of his money in crypto. Giorgio, you're not far behind him. I think you were yelling about 10,000 gallons of water uh, on the phone No, but with somebody. Giorgio always, Giorgio turns it on. He, he'll to, turn it on for the I shows, for sure. To. For, because of the Lucy. Like, yeah. let's be it's honest. It's Lucy. Yeah. He does what he has to do. He takes a little sip. He takes a little toki, whatever. Yep. But yep. he gets there. Yeah. And I love that about do you. Bob, I, this? Bob has a new, I, I'll complete the, the, the circle here. Bob has a newborn. Uh, and then he's about to have another one on top of that. Mm-hmm. So the, the, the sad Bob that we see now on a day-to-day basis is going to get just even progressively sadder as time goes on. No. I mean, it's, it's, it's the house stuff, too, on top of everything. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Like and and he's, he he's got a broken his, man. He's got his identity. Now, look, what I like is Bob then turns into, like, curmudgeon mad guy, which people like, People right? love that So, Bob. like, he... The less sleep and the more shit, like he people love he really comes alive. White man anger, Bob, a yes. lot, yeah. and yes. and so like that, I'm looking forward to for the yeah, next yeah, year because yeah. it's, be it's lively, it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Delco morning. looks like one of those homeless guys who who just overshot. He over fucking pumped up right in the in the old vein, and he's dead. Did he's you see out. that picture from the weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the flow. No, no homeless man has pecs like that. No Correct. homeless man has put no 315 now like that. And that and that's. I think that's his dream. Like if he could float every day and go yeah. down the river, he'd be a happy man. Instead, he has to look at Coinbase or whatever I app know. he uses, and, and he realizes it's miserable. Nick is often so high that it, it's, he's halfway not, like, not, non-existent. He's a halfway person, just a half person. Nick's he's like a centaur. Like, words are weed. hard. Yeah, words are hard. You For haven't me, smoked yeah. weed or you did? No, no, Nick's been uh, been sober when he's at the studio now, but no one noticed. That's okay. Oh, really? <laughs> no one noticed. No. And Sean, no. sweet Sean. Sh- is Sean here? Yeah. Okay, is he Sean is. still alive? It, it's hit and miss. Sean's With Sean, still alive. We, well, when we, we don't do know. Drinking Bros, no, because Drinking Bros, he, he sits in a tower above us that will change the new studio mm-hmm. um, because he'll sit beneath them. Uh, and so they'll be able to look down on Sean. And uh, when enough. we're doing drinking, yeah, bros, he needs to be lower. He when we're doing drinking, bros, uh, half the, the time the chair is empty. And mm. I always wonder, did he fucking strangle bait in the other room? Like, yeah. where is he? Yeah. Um, is he still at Chipotle? Did he go back for seconds at Chipotle? I'm not really know. sure. Mexican Sean did. I have no 